I want to start out with the definition because there are a lot of different terms that describe these technologies. And I always I like to simplify it, and I just back it up to, to this definition. Marketing automation is tools that automate customer engagement across two or more channels. And it's, you'll also hear it called lead management, automated demand generation, revenue performance management platforms, virtually the same thing. And, you know, the features are typically email marketing. It's got landing page hosting and optimization, web analytics, segmentation and list building, CRM integration, lead scoring, and some social media integration, all in one tool. And my, my purpose today is not to bore you with checkboxes on all, though we're going to go through that a little bit, but checkboxes and all the features and functions is to help you understand from a business context why marketing automation is important. So when we ask organizations, and this is coming from survey data, this is the top three reasons. What are the top three reasons to implement email marketing and, and to personalize with email marketing? We hear things like, it's affordable it, and it fits my budget, so you know, that's why I use email. It allows me to respond to market changes quickly. Our customers want or like email communication. You know, we all really, frankly, understand that if we're going to sign up for a newsletter or we're going to engage with a company, they're going to ask us for our email address. And if we're willing to do it, we're going to give our, our email address. So you know, I think it's really, you know, it's become kind of the, it's par now. It's the ante up. You've got to give your email address. You're going to engage with customers. And when we ask companies that, are, that have took the marketing automation survey, what are the top three reasons to implement marketing automation? Now, keep in mind, these are companies that knew to take the survey, so probably had a more advanced understanding of marketing automation than the average company. But what they told us, and some of the questions, uh, answer choices were the same. What they told us was, well, we want to generate more revenue. We want to generate more leads. We want to increase marketing efficiency. And to me, what I see here is a real shift in the way we're evaluating the technology. And traditionally, email tools, it's very difficult to link your click-through rate or your open rate to revenue. You know, it's just there's that, that link is not there. You don't have the sales cycle um, performance to do that. And so when you start to look at marketing automation, where it becomes very compelling is literally being able to measure your sales funnel and your marketing activities um, and evaluate how effective your spend is based on your performance. And it really it, it bonds that whole, it bridges that gap that doesn't exist in email. So something that I think we really need to put out of the way really quickly is this idea that, that um, a purchase decision is a series of interactions over one or more channels, right? We talked about the customer being active in different channels. Um, but but the, what you can layer on top of that is the customer buying cycle. And the point is, your prospects are not the same. Um, they're, they're at different levels of their buying cycle, and, and there are different ways to define this. Different analysts will present this differently. I like to use attention, interest, desire, and action as the classifications for a buying cycle. And at the attention stage, you know, a prospect may not even know that they have a problem. They may just you know, be going about their life and they don't realize they have a problem, much less that you have a technology or service that can solve that problem. And so how you communicate with those individuals is very different than how you would communicate with people who, you know, are looking for a solution to that problem. What we're really blossoming out here is this idea of nurture marketing. And what we know is that top performing organizations are four times more likely to engage in nurture marketing tactics. And what nurture marketing does is it really allows you to take that buying cycle and, 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 and address the unique stages of that buying cycle um, by automating engagement. And you've heard of lead nurturing, I'm sure. And so when we think about lead nurturing, there's really two tactics, and this is where nurture marketing becomes an automated process, is, is lead nurturing. And you're basically saying, okay, I'm going to communicate with people along that buying cycle in, in a very unique way depending on where they are. And so you're really trying to map those communications to uh, the, the way that they really need, the, con the content and information they need to consume from your organization. And there are kind of two tactics. There's time-based, which we talked about. It's drip marketing. Um, it's it's your predetermining intervals of time where you're going to communicate with a prospect over time. And behavioral and action or, or action-driven communications, which are the same thing as trigger marketing. Um, and the point here is lead nurturing helps automate the right message at the right time in the right place. And that's really what marketing automation is all about. And if we look at the tactics that are being leveraged, you know, we pretty much know that small businesses are using email tools. And they are using them for newsletters. They are using them for those drip type campaigns. And we see pretty much everyone. You're seeing everyone else is that light blue bar and the turquoise bar is top performers. From a drip marketing standpoint, that's pretty consistent across the market. Everybody knows how to do it and they're doing it. As soon as you start looking into kind of trigger campaigns and some of the more advanced tactics to help automate engagement based on prospect need, that's where you start to separate top performers from everyone else. And we see that top performers are far more likely 
twice as likely even, to actually use trigger campaign techni techniques um, and also lead scoring, which many marketing automation providers actually deliver as an automated uh, solution uh, set. So